have to watch this. DSP acts grumpy over people using fireworks and says he pays a lot for silence in his gated community. I have to watch this. I have to. This guy's a fucking freak, man. DSP's a fucking freak of a guy. I can't believe something that this actually exists in real life. Let's see what he says here. This should be fucking fantastic. Or just outside. Oh, is that a thing then? Okay, maybe he's not alone. Even Natashki is saying here, I'm grateful fireworks season's over. Do you guys get annoyed by fireworks? It legitimately never bothers me in the slightest, but does it genuinely annoy some of you people in the chat? Like it kind of pissed, like to the point where you would be like, scream, not screaming, but you'll get, you're going to get upset and pissed off. Oh, okay, <laughs> say yes. Okay, fair enough. I guess because I've always lived in an area, again, I keep saying this and I know I fucking sound like I'm fucking virtue signaling or I'm trying to be a victim, but I've always grown up in really rough areas, right? And all the rough areas I've grown up in, part and parcel of growing up in a rough area is hearing police sirens, ambulance sirens, fire, fire truck sirens, whatever they're called, um, and fireworks. And just on the weekend, people just screaming as they're running down the street. That's what you hear all the time if you live in a fucked up neighborhood. So my ears have become attuned to just bangs going off all the time. I don't know if they, exactly, Rodeo. I don't know if they gunshots, you know what I mean? I don't know if it's guys from the hood. Where's your money, man? Give me the money. Give me the, oh, 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 to Bobby Lee. Give me the fucking jokes. Where's that fucking joke? Give me the fucking jokes. Give me a fucking podcast. Give me a podcast, right? I don't know if it's that or if it's fireworks, you know? So I'm always like used to the sound of all that banging, but I guess I'm in a minority. Oh yeah, true, upsets dogs. Yeah, true. Okay, Jared Mello, yo, good point. That really frightens dogs, isn't it? And pets and shit. So I see if you got a pet, it's going to be, it's probably a distressful time. They have been going off every day for two weeks. Okay, cool. I'll take it back because I keep forgetting, isn't it? Independence Day is like not the 31st of July. It's definitely on the 4th. <laughs> so you probably have a lot of people celebrating probably from the end of June, probably, isn't it? They're already celebrating. So it must be fucking horrendous time of year. Um, what happens during fucking um, Cinco de Mayo? Do Mexicans fucking pull out AKs and start shooting in the air and stuff and guns? Or is that a stereotype? What happens with that? Do they use fireworks? Like, what, what happens with those guys? Do they do that? What happens to during Black History Month? If black, actually, yeah, in America, in, during Black History Month, is it considerably louder? Are all the cinemas loud? Are people playing music in their car extra loud? Like, what's happening during fucking Black History Month? Do you notice the decibels going up in all the areas, all the hoods? Doop, 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 doop. Do, 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 do. Huh? Like, does that happen? Like, I would like to know. Uh, Black History Month isn't really celebrated. Fucking hell, man. Annoying. Why don't you guys celebrate Black History Month? That's pretty bleak. I thought you guys were all out there eating the jerk chicken and shit, break dancing. You know what I mean? Mm -mm -mm. All that good shit, but I guess not. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to DSP. Out of my neighborhood, I can hear them going off. What the fuck? And get fucking fireworks on the screen. Liberated. <laughs> no, we live in a private community. Private community, you can't just go outside and start shooting off fireworks. It's not allowed. Just like we can't do a garage sale. Honestly, private fucking community. This fucking guy begs for tips. Begs for tips and donations from his fans. He, he, he pretends like he's on the edge of fucking poverty at every single month he begs for tips to buy groceries to take his wife out for dinner yet he lives in a gated community make it fucking make sense like a little hermit afraid to leave the house we can't do a cookout in the public walking area in the back without permission <laughs> That's he's, what def he's definitely a, a random area and stuff definitely you know. a random just do whatever you want Wow! You know, we pay good money for peace and quiet around here. This guy's got the most, he might be the ugliest streamer I've seen in my life. And also the guy with the most annoying voice. It's quite impressive that he's been able to be a content creator this long. Like his voice is legitimately one of the most annoying voices I've heard in my, his voice might be up there with like Trisha Paytas. Like Trisha Paytas has like a really annoying voice, right? But she's quite entertaining and she does like skits and shit. But her voice is fucking trouble, right? That will fucking send you flying out of a window. But this guy, woo! Dang you, nabbit. Had enough. We had enough of the, the, the wild 
the wild people out there doing weird, wild things. We've had enough of that. <laughs> very upset with that. Oh, oh! Grab some seeds, chump. Ah, fucking fireworks. Damn it. That's right, you follow the rules, you get the hell out. But once you get to live here, you realize why the rules are worth following. Because it's quiet, it's nice. It's a great place to live, let me tell you. Best place I've ever lived. And the funny thing about him living in the gated community, if I'm not if I'm mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, the reason why he did it was not to flex, actually. Well, partly to flex, but mostly because he was concerned about the trolls because I'm sure he moved into that gated community around the same time that this is how you don't play started, which is a whole genre of videos people would make and put together of him playing video games really badly, right? Right? Him playing video games really, really badly. So he was then getting, you know, laughed at on the internet for being really bad at video games. And it got to a point where people were trolling him and doing stuff to him personally. And he thought there would come a time where a fucking troll would turn up at his house. And I don't know, point and laugh at him and say, oh, that's DSP. Look, it's the guy. It's the guy. I don't know what he fucking thought was going to happen. And he decided the only safe place to move was to go and move to a fucking gated community place. That's basically what he did. That's why he did it. <laughs> to run away from the trolls. And now he's in his own type of hell because now uber delivery or doordash drivers they don't maybe know how to get to his door easily so sometimes they want him to come out to collect the thing out of his gate but he refuses to he doesn't answer the f like he's the type of guy when the doordash guy is texting him or and tries to call him he doesn't answer the phone he re he just replies on text he refuses to answer the phone he refuses to step outside <laughs> oh, he's amazing his own little hellscape Either you abide by the rules or you're out of here, okay? Uh, Yoshino, I'm glad you enjoyed the summer marathon. And, uh, my neighbors only hear me raging if it's, like, uh, the spring and I have the window open and I'm screaming and it goes right out the window and they can hear it. That's about it. You have to be standing right in front of my house in the street to hear me. Outside of that, that I've outright asked my neighbors, you know, do you hear me when I'm streaming or whatever? The answer is no. And the reason is because over here, that's another room across the hallway. And apparently here... I actually believe is a nook slash big closet on this end of the house and the house over. So basically these two walls, it doesn't go to anything where anyone would be able to like sit there and hear me talk, which is good, obviously. People don't want to hear me raging at games, right? <clears throat> okay. Oh boy. Say uncle. <laughs> uh, FB Plato says, when you played Spider-Man a long time ago, your neighbor yelled at you to shut up. Yes, that was over a decade ago uh. at a different place that I used to live. <laughs> I don't know why on earth you think... I love how... I love... It annoys him so much how much information he's inadvertently given out over the years. And it also annoys him so much that everyone remembers. Look at how annoyed his face is there. Look at that fat, mongoloid, 50p shaped head. It, look at him. He looks like a fucking melted candle. Look how annoyed he is there that that guy remembered randomly <laughs> during the stream. And he's a member too, so you can chat. He's so annoyed. I'm still there. That's really stupid. My neighbor was a drunk idiot. Weird. Who would sit That's on his really back stupid. Porch, completely drunk every night. And if you heard any noise, he would yell at people. Yeah. And uh, he frequently would be so drunk, he would lock himself outside of his house in the middle of the cold of winter. And then he would bang the on cold my door winter. to try to walk back into the building. His ass off out there in his, in his underwear. So that's the kind of person my next door neighbor was in Connecticut. You know, complete asshole, jackass. Jackass. Uh, do I miss the old condo? Absolutely not. That yes. condo oh. sucked ass. Like no exaggeration. That place stunk. I mean, it was my first place living by myself. Previously, that I place stunk. I wonder why. This guy is the master of not accepting any personal responsibility. My house used to stink. It wasn't my fault. I did everything wrong. I did everything correct. <laughs> I lived outside of my parents' home by having a three-bedroom apartment that I shared with two roommates, and that was pretty nice. But that place was too small. It was... A three-bedroom apartment is too small. And now he's got a same bedroom... Well, he's, he's got... A, I think it's three-bedroom, the snort fort. And it's just him, his wife, and his cat. His family. And that that that's okay then, right? Cool. Super cold in the winter. It was always hot as shit in the summer. The neighbors were assholes. It was way too expensive. The internet was fucked up. The landlord was a piece of shit who would never show up to do anything to help. It was a joke. I hated that fucking place with a passion. Like I said, the only reason I, I actually 
moved there was for my old office job. I don't know why we're talking about that tonight. <laughs> long since past history. The, this condo, I'm stuck with a condo in Connecticut that's worth shit. I can't sell it and I can't rent it. So it's just draining on my finances every fucking month. Gee, he's, he's white. Like, this is what happens when you don't. This is, he's another cautionary tale of like streaming and not never going on holiday. You got all that money, all that free time, no vacations, no nothing. Just sitting at home, just streaming every single day. You end up looking like this. He's like a weird complexion, like papery looking. Like, do you know what I mean? Just like horrible, like horrible looking. Fucking hell, brother. Get some sun in your fucking face. Like something, different climate, different environment. Fuck me. Month, And I can't get rid of it. Haseo says, man, you're snake creatures. Your Slytherin heritage would appear in Diablo 4. Yeah. The power of Slither. Remember when we first started playing this last month, we actually hit all of our our uh, tips goals, and I put on the Slytherin hat and the Slytherin scarf for you guys. But since then, I don't think we actually hit tips goals for anything ever again. So uh, we never actually talked about it after that. Play through, quiet it down right away. All the hype, which I knew it would. I'm not complaining. I I totally knew that this game wasn't going to get a lot of hype. It's it's. Such a grindy, repetitive game. It's meant to be like a chill thing. It's not meant. To, oh, this is like mainstream super hype. Some people thought it was going to be, and I was like, you understand? It will never be super hype on my stream. Yeah, a game like this, funny. you know, naturally. Okay, there's a stream. There's just not a lot of contributions. Maybe it's a dead stream or whatever. Who knows? Fine. From guitar player, how's it going? He says, hope we all get lucky this year and not have a bunch of idiot shoot off firecrackers in my apartment parking lot. I wish you the best of luck there, guitar player. No one's allowed to do it in my neighborhood yet. We are still hearing it around us. What, what's he gonna do is he gonna fucking snitch on them is he gonna report them to the what you call it home was it homeowners association whatever it's called this guy man fucking knock in the surrounding areas so it, it's really you know it's kind of unavoidable this time of year in the united states it is what it is you just gotta kind of deal with it for you know a few days to weeks to months because yes people are that stupid they'll do it all summer but to be fair again to, to be fair is fireworks that annoying to some of you people in the chat that you would snitch? Would you would you actually call your uh, I don't know your building manager, local council? Like, would you actually call them and complain if somebody was doing fireworks in your neighborhood? Would you actually do go as far as doing that? Is it that level of annoyance? Because that can be a bit of a curtain twitcher. I'm a little bit of a blind curtain twitcher. I'm always fucking peeking out, seeing what people are doing. But I wouldn't go as far as calling. I may open the window and say, shut the fuck up! And then close it and shit, right? Or something along that kind of line. I'm trying to go to fucking sleep! But I don't think I would call, you know? That's a bit too much. That's a bit too narky. Yeah, HOA are psychos and can literally take a house away. Exactly. That could go bad. Police, not me, says Jared Mellor. Okay, cool. So some of you guys and gals are sensible and fair. That's good to hear. Because <laughs> they're moronic. Uh, I feel People for you. People stupid though. for enjoying time with their family. Tip. Exactly. Seriously, like that guy is such a two-faced fat piece of shit. It would be great if we could get some more members, guys. You see, we lost a ton of members. Uh, essentially, this month has been a tough one because I've been trying to juggle three RPGs while playing Street Fighter, and essentially, no one's really superbly happy. I think people who like Street Fighter are are the happiest, but it's been tough. And you know, when stuff like that is going on, you're juggling so much, it's hard to please anyone. So you know, the memberships went by the wayside. It'd be great. You know, so get the memberships would help out a lot. But at the same time, <laughs> young, old vibes. Yeah, if it's overdone, I'm calling the authorities. <laughs> I know you are because you use the term authorities. I know you mean business. <laughs> I'm calling the authorities. Uh, if it ends up being like, well, we only get a small group of people who really care. Oh, really? Adam Friedman's on the new episode of Your Mom's House. Okay, cool. I'll add that to a list of new episodes to check out. Um, I probably might watch it along with you guys, actually. When I next stream, maybe later tonight, actually, I might actually watch that. I might actually watch that with you guys, if you don't mind. Is it up already, the video? No, no video just yet. But when the video is up, I'll definitely watch Your Mum's House with Adam Freeman, because I think that'd be quite cool to check out, because I like him. He's quite funny, man. And it ends up not being a very popular thing. Oh, by the way, um, Adam Friedman's Adam Friedman show with fucking Anthony Kumo. I was never the biggest fan of Anthony Kumo, but he comes across so well. It's interesting how those guys are, isn't it? Once you take them out off of, away from TV and out of the constraints of being a political jester, fucking Anthony Kumo was a vibe, man. That was actually pretty funny. He's a fucking good hang. That guy definitely fucks for real. And he's a fucking good hang. 
Like, he actually came across really well. I'm not going to lie, man. Seriously. If you're not a fan of Anthony Kumo, you think he's a little bit of a blowhard and whatnot, and you thought he was annoying as a politician, sorry, as a fucking um, broadcaster, news presenter, host, whatever it is, definitely check out Adam Friedman's show with him because it was really good, man. He came across really well. You know, this is kind of a dead stream. Then I'm not, I'm not going to be doing it regularly. You know what I mean? Mika asked, would I fight LTG in Street Fighter 6 if he accepted? I've already told you guys that I did send him a message at one point to see if he was interested, and he never responded, meaning he's not interested. Now, this morning, someone had said something about that free one-up apparently has come back, and it started to make YouTube shorts of Street Fighter 6. Someone said, would you... Oh, that's okay. It was the Adam Friedland. Adam Friedland. If you Google, if you YouTube Adam Friedland, you'll see his show will come up on there. And Anthony Kuna was on there. Adam Friedland. He used to do the show uh, Come Town. Uh, but now it got changed to that name. So him and Nick Mullen do Adam Friedland now um, show where they essentially it's like a it's like a it's like a it's like a, it's it's basically a show that they do where they interview people. It's also a podcast, um, but it's really good and they have little skits inside in, in on it as well. It's really really funny. But check it out. It's on YouTube. The Adam Friedland Show. Friedland spelled F I F R I E D L A N D. So Adam Friedland. Adam Friedland's show, check it out. Play him in a set, to which I said, yes, I would play Free One Up in a set. This is the guy who I did an epic set with back in the early days of Street Fighter Four, and I would absolutely play a set with him too. But for me, if anyone wants to contact me, I'm a public figure in many ways to contact me. You know what I mean? Like, you can reach out, a private message on Twitter, you can tweet me, you can type me an email, you can come to my stream. There's many ways to reach out to me. I don't want to bother these people. I'm not actively seeking that. Like, would it be cool to do a set against someone, a notable YouTuber? Yeah, it would. Do I care? Eh, I mean, I'm not going out of my way to do it. I don't really care. It's all, if you guys want to see it, I would say it's, it's on you guys if you're really interested and if you have ways to contact these guys and talk with them, then, uh, you know, let them know the deal. Let them know you want to see it or whatever. Don't harass them or anything. But just, you know, if you're on a stream of theirs, say, hey, just so you know, I'd love to see you play Dark Side Phil and... See what they say. If they're interested, there's ways to reach out to me to do it, right? This there you go. Tips, where are they? In fact, hold on a second. I forgot. We didn't hit $30 in tips yet. So we got to turn it. Here we go. We didn't hit $30 in tips yet. So until we hit $30 in tips, this is the stream, guys. Sorry. This is just how it's got to be, okay? Tips, where are they? No, I kind of thought that would be a little bit more formidable, yeah. but you know, I'll just walk right through all you assholes. <laughs> Why not? If they let me. All right, I gotta fight them. All right, all right, fine, fine. I have to fight these guys now. All right, all right, all right. I get it. Can't skip that. Oh, fuck him anyway. Fuck that guy. Anyway, we're done.